of Sky News has unveiled a plan to create a European pay television giant, which will more than treble the company's customer base. The deal, worth a combined £5.3 billion, will give the company access to markets in Germany and Italy. Live to the city now, Ian King is in the Gherkin for us with the details. Ian. Hi Sam, that's right. This is a very big transaction indeed. Sky is taking full control of Sky Italia and in due course Sky Deutschland as well. With me now is Jeremy Darrick, the Chief Executive of B Sky B. Very good to see you. Yeah. What is the transactions rationale here? Well, what this will allow us to do is create um, a really world-class pay TV business anchored in Europe. We'll have market-leading positions in five uh, markets across Europe, three of the top four markets in Europe. And it will significantly open up headroom for growth. Um, around 96 million customers in those markets, seven out of ten of them don't yet take paid television. So our ability over time to, to grow our customer base and then sell more products into that customer base is going to open up. The businesses themselves uh, are very similar in terms of what they do. So we also think that we'll be able to share be best practice and capability right across the group over time. And then finally, there's a sort of strong synergy plan uh, in the short term, uh, really around efficiency of the back office. So the combination of those three things, which is a, a runway for growth in the future, uh, the ability to really take a market leading position across Europe uh, and a strong financial profile, I mean, this is, this is a really great strategic deal, but a very, very good financial deal as well. And it gives you greater buying power for sports assets, entertainment assets. But in, with some sports rights, they're sold on a country to country basis. So presumably you don't get the same sort of synergies there as one might have thought. That's right. And, and part of our thinking isn't predicated particularly on, 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 on efficiencies in rights acquisition because typically rights are sold on a market by market basis. We will be the largest procurer of content in Europe, spending something like £4.6 billion every year on screen. I think that will make us a great partner of choice. Uh, and as we think of big rights holders around the world, uh, we're going to be a great distributor and great, hopefully a great partner for those, for those businesses. But I, you know, in the near term, I think rights will continue to be sold largely on a bi-territory basis. Right. What does it mean for existing Sky customers here? Will they notice any difference? I mean, some of them will probably be nervous that uh, this means they're going to have to pay more for the service. No, in the short term, you know, we've got a very clear pathway in, in, in the UK. We've been investing a lot in our customers over the course of the last year, and the benefits from that are starting to come through. Uh, we're constantly trying to find new ways to improve what we offer on screen or improve the viewing experience for our customers, and that will continue at pace. I think over the more medium term, it'll be good news for customers because we'll be able to do uh, things at greater scale, apply our skills and techn technical development, innovation and content creation, and get more better ideas and a better service to customers more quickly. Now, what makes you so confident that you're going to be able to sell the sort of services that you offer here? to German and Italian customers. I mean, Germans, generally, they've not been that receptive to pay TV as, as we Brits have, for example. I think that's right. Germany has been a laggard in, in, in pay TV, but that market is really starting to open up now, and Sky Deutschland have really created great momentum uh, already. And they've done that uh, by clearing, creating clear differentiation versus the free-to-air broadcasters in, in, in Germany in, in quite a similar way to, we, to the pathway we've followed in, in the UK, investing on screen, making sure that the viewing experience is better, uh, with Sky than and anybody else, and really world-class frontline service delivery. Uh, Italy's a little bit different. Uh, clearly, the Italian market has been economically more challenged over the last few years, but we think Italy's a, a business, again, well-positioned to grow. It's more of a scale business than Germany today. And so the application of best practice and synergy between Sky Italia and Sky in the UK, I think will be part of our plan, more part of our plan in the short term. Italy used to be quite notorious for piracy. Is that less of an issue now than it once was? At one level, it's becoming less uh, of an issue, and, uh, and we've worked hard right across all of the businesses uh, on our security systems to protect the broadcast signal. Um, clearly, technology moves on a pace. I mean, that's the world that we live in, but you know, we've got real capability in this area. Uh, we're the most secure pay TV platform anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And so we'll be, again, be able to apply that sort of capability across all of those markets. And once the transaction completes, presumably you'll be offering the same services in Germany and Italy, Austria and Ireland that you do here, so broadband, telephony. I think one of the great things uh, that this transaction will, will offer us is the ability to do more things quickly. Now, we'll, we'll execute each individual market according to the opportunities and customer needs in those markets, but generally I think we'll go on a pathway where we, we sell similar services in each of those markets uh, and hopefully do it better at a greater scale and quicker for customers. What about the reaction uh, today from shareholders? Um, you've, it looks like you've paid less for Sky Italia than they were expecting. 
shares are obviously down. You'd expect that when you're raising money in the way that you are. Yep. What, what's the initial feedback been like? The feedback's been really good. I think the, the, the shareholders really understand and like the logic of the deal. They can see the strategic benefits. Uh, and uh, I think they feel that the, the value that we've agreed with 21st Century Fox for their stake in Sky Deutschland and, and, and ownership of Sky Italia uh, were, is a good price for us and it's a good price for them. Very good. And uh, you've also published full year results today, 5% drop in operating profits. What's happened there? We've been investing in customers this year. It's been a big year of investment in rolling out our connected box services, uh, Sky Go, which is our mobile TV service. Uh, our revenues are up 7% and we'll start to see the financial benefits of that come through strongly over the next 12 months. So from time to time, we do invest in that frontline customer experience to improve our service, but then we get good returns on the back of that and I'd expect that to happen in 2014-15. Okay, Jeremy Darrett, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.